Now here's a here's a checkmate. This is the checkmate. I want you to practice speaking to each piece. I want you to practice speaking to each piece because you close an I differently than you close a C. You mediate conflict. Uh oh. Uh oh. You you mediate conflict from a D or you handle negotiation or you handle um, objections from a D better than, <laughs> have some brothers in trouble. I ain't trying to get no brothers in trouble now. Y'all stop it. <laughs> but you, um, you deflect objections from a D differently than you do an S. They might say, they might have the same question. You cannot, you cannot have the same answer. So a D might say, tell me more. And an S might say, tell me more. But they don't mean the same thing. A D means, tell me about the money. An S means, tell me about the people. A D means, Tell me how I'm going to make a million dollars as fast as possible and leave my job. And S means tell me how I'm going to be able to support my family and stay at my job a little while longer, just not be smashed up for cash. You got to speak to two different people while answering the same question. This is what I mean when I say you can't be for everybody. You can't be for everybody. You got to be for the person who's ready to take action. That's what we do. We don't choose who's ready to take action. We don't say, oh, this one is, you know, this one, I know this one is an S. I don't really like S's. No, you run a business. You can't say, oh, this one's a C. I know they kind of, they kind of numbers oriented. They're not going to be talking too much. They're going to be on the Zoom meetings, but they they camera blacked out the whole time. (laughs) They might. But their money, they money is meaningful too. They gonna help you. And your C's are the people that are gonna figure out any problem that you have. So don't get it twisted. Uh, your, your accountant will be a C. Your web developer will be a C. Your copywriter might be a DC. The person that's doing your your web systems and your email systems, C, they're going to they're gonna be a D because they're going to get it done, but they're going to be a C. So I want you to now start thinking about the combinations, the DI, the CI, the CS. What does that look like? There's a primary and secondary. There's a primary and there's a secondary, but the secondary is also a factor. So if you're just talking about numbers and money to a person who's a, because you think a person is a CD, but they're actually a CS, you're going to lose them. You write to talk about the numbers, but when you start talking about the money and you don't talk about the people, you're losing them. So this is, this is a science and it takes time to get it right. And this is why I want you to write four versions of each message. What do you mean, Sean? I mean four versions of each message. I want you to practice writing an email to a D, to an I, to an S, and to a C. I want you to practice writing the same copy, the same message, the same post, but write it to attract a D, write it to attract an I, write it to attract an S, and write it to attract a C. You got one offer. So let's say you were selling a book. Selling a book about coaching. We're going to do this in a minute. Anyway, we're going to do this in a minute. Just give me a moment. I want you to realize that you're not the only person in the room. And this is the, the if I, this, probably, this probably might be the, pet, the most important sentence 
in the entire presentation. Stop talking to people the way you want to be talked to. Stop talking. Let me say that slowly. Stop talking to people the way you want to be talked to. Get out of yourself. It's not about you. And I do want you to practice with each other, and I want you to role play. I told you we was going into that space. I told you we was going to have some fun. I told you we were going to have some fun. I want us to be able to practice because that's the only way we get better. You don't get better in your head. Yeah, this means meeting them where they're at. Exactly. <laughs> but I want you to practice it because when, you, when you're speaking to somebody about the bread, you don't want to practice then. You understand? You don't want to practice when the money's on the line. You want to practice here. You want to practice in this community. You want to practice with other people who are learning just like you so that when you win, they win, and when they win, you win, and then you begin to see that it makes sense. See, Victoria got to work. She got to work. Now I'm going to put her on the spot, but she got to work. And now she got to work because she went to work. So that proves that it works. Michelle went to work. James Edda went to work. It works. There's no question about whether it works or not. I said when everybody comes in here, I guarantee. I said I guarantee. Because I do. Because I know. With no shadow of a doubt. This doesn't work on a small scale. Oh, this works huge. <laughs> when I say huge, I mean huge. This works really big. This works with any number. You can close a two-figure deal. You can close a three-figure deal. You can close a four-figure deal. You can close a five-figure deal. You can close a six-figure deal. And you can close a seven-figure deal with what I'm giving you tonight. Michelle just happens to know it because he did it. But you can do it too because it's the same information. So I'm still, I'm still panning out where and how we're going to do the role play. But I'm setting up something for you guys. I told you about it already. I told you I was setting something up. I told you that before the end of Branded Like a Leader. It's almost done. So what is this? It's November. I'll probably be done before the end of November. This is going to be an entirely different year. Moving into 2021, it's going to be an entirely different situation. There's going to be a whole different dynamic as far as interplay and how we interact with one another. Because I really, I, I need us to win. The calls that we had a few nights ago where you guys were just giving your phone numbers to each other. And a couple of the last calls that we've had has, have really resonated with me to where I said, okay, I've got to, I've got to do more. I've got to do more to, to procure and provide more resources, structure, and systems so that you guys can be absolutely phenomenal at what you do. And that's what I've been doing. So like I said, um, this is it's almost the end. Okay, it's the 12th. Two weeks is the 26th. No later than the first week of December, I'll have an entirely different setup. And we can lean real heavy into the role plays. But before that, give each other some time. Give each other some time. Get with each other and have some conversations on this stuff. Because this is where your money lies. Your money lies. You've already got your brand now. You already know who you are. You know what you do. Now it's about the how. You know what? Now it's about the how. And when I say the how, it's not about how you communicate your business in the industry so much. You do have to tweak that and pop that and speak to each of the people, speak to an extrovert and an introvert, and speak to the D, the I, the S, and the C, or the knight, the queen, the bishop, and the king. But you also have to get ready for those discovery calls because they're coming. And you want to be comfortable for them. 
So like I said, we'll, we'll, we'll be um, going into another space. I'll be giving some trainings on closing. I'll be giving some trainings on closing. I'll be giving some trainings on refuting objections, negotiating proposals, pricing, and conflict resolution, as well as addressing pain points. But that, that, what that looks like is role play. It looks like role play. So if anybody here has been in clinical, they know what role play is. Hopefully everybody does. <clears throat> Let me just say this. We're going to get to know each other a lot better. <laughs> because I want you to know who you're marketing to.